I thought both teams performed admirably. Um, all credit to Musselburgh, who's probably given us the toughest game we've had this season. Um, proud of our boys, they went into the game on a, on a big high, they were, they were up for it and they've, they've proved themselves today I think, so thoroughly looking forward to the semi-finals now. Uh, do you think the result was a fair reflection on the performance? I, I think it was, yeah. Um, all, I have to sort of speak out about our keeper, I think he was absolutely outstanding today. Um, it might have been a lot closer and um, might have gone extra time or penalties if it hadn't been for Murray. So Murray Burns, all credit to him today. But the, the whole team, uh, you know, they, were, they, were, they were fantastic. We were delighted with them. In the under-13 section, Spartans beat Drum Zagard and Barhead saw off Hutchison Vale in the two clashes between East and West. Banks O'Dee remain on course to retain the trophy their 2002s won last year. It's East versus West again as Spartans take on Barhead. Banks O'Dee meet Leith Athletic in the other semi-final. <laughs> I think today, coming to Jervistown, Jervistown's a fantastic club semi finalist last year to come here. We were just a wee small boys club from Paisley uh, to come here. Two very good football teams, to be fair. I don't think today was the greatest football match, in all honesty. It's quite scrappy at times. Two teams determined to get through the semi finals. I think just uh, 
maybe we just show us what they show us at the end of the day. It was really much between the teams and all, and all honesty. Today was your day, it wasn't the Jefferson's day, so uh, unlucky for Jefferson, played a great game. Okay. Um, anything that stood out for you in your team? Glenville is very much a team effort at our club, we don't have individuals, we're not a team that is one or two that carries the team right from the back. The captain today it was absolutely fantastic as he has been all season, hey, alongside him the other defenders, hey, right through the midfield again, we normally get on the ball more in the midfield but it was, the, the ball was just bypassing them unfortunately today, we couldn't show their abilities in there, but today was just a day for hey, just hard work to be honest with you, sometimes you get games like that, you can't play all the lovely football in the world, but a collective effort. And then uh, even the subject come on, they worked very hard for us, so we're very happy with them. All right, friend. Uh, and you scored the first goal today, didn't you? Yeah. Um, talk us through about that. Uh, it was from a corner, wasn't it? Yeah, we've always been working on corners at training, and the ball was in, and we're bouncing it about, and the keeper saved it, and the ball just fell nicely to me, so all I had to do was put it in. Uh, so, going forward, what's your ambitions, both of you? Please, I'll start with you. Ambitions this year are just to carry on playing. Last year we got the quarterfinals, we've been past that this year, we've got the semis now. So um, for our club it's a big achievement for us to come and get that far in the Scottish Cup against teams with far better facilities, far better maybe squad sizes and what have you. So we're probably overachieving as a club. But I mean this year we can't David deny the manager, we can't be prouder than the boys uh, this season and last season, two years we've had them at 11s have absolutely exceeded all expectations. So uh, we'll just carry on as we're doing just now. Yeah, yeah, just keep it hard, keep it hard working on, make sure we progress as long as we can. Alright, Magic I'll do is alright, I'll stuff. give you some cards. Alright, good man, that's excellent. Alright, right. good cover, Magic so we've done the two minutes swear words there. In the under 14 section, EKFC Blue won a thriller after extra time against Syngenta. Underdogs Tynecastle Colts went out with their heads held high after a narrow defeat to PFD United. They're joined by Glenvale and Tynecastle. Glenvale have lost just one game in two years of 11 aside football and will face a stern test in EKFC Blue. Tynecastle will hope to avenge their Colts' defeat to PFD. Uh, well, the aim at the start of the season was to do well in the Scottish Cup. Uh, we've done well the last couple of years in the Scottish Cup, but unfortunately beaten by the teams that have gone on to win the final. So this year the aim, main aim is to get to the final uh, and try and win it more, one step closer. Okay, what's the, what are your hopes and ambitions for the remainder of the season? Um, just to keep progressing, keep playing well, um, pick up some trophies. Were there any players uh, for your team that really impressed you in the performance today? No, I think it was a, very much a team performance. I thought all players played very well when they single anybody out. To give one message to the parents and players, what would it be? Just to keep on trusting us, keep believing. Uh, the boys know what they're doing and uh, they'll be successful if they keep on working hard. Excellent. So just okay. On to the under 15s category, and Adina Hibbs won the battle of two former winners against BSC Glasgow. Down the road in East Lothian, Long Nidri Villa's fairy tale run came to an end after a thriller against Ross Vale. Hutchison Vale and Mill United join them in the final four. Mill United face Adina Hibbs, and two familiar foes, Hutchison Vale and Ross Vale, meet in the other semi final.
Cameron Henry, I'm captain of the club. What did you think of the performance today? I thought it was very good. At the start, we started quite slow and um, we didn't really get going. We just kept giving the ball away easily. The wind didn't help because everything was just coming back in at us. But after a bit, we got going, got that vital goal back just before half time. And then from there on, everything just kind of positive. And we just kicked on and managed to get a few more. I thought they were a very good team actually, the first half they surprised us a lot, we weren't expecting that, they came out of passing it around us, we were helpless pretty much, but we started to see what we were up against, started to dig a bit deeper and realise that we were in a battle, so after that it really, we, yeah, we played quite well. On to the under 16 category, Banks had won a stunning match against Tynecastle to progress, they're joined by fellow Aberdeen side Lewis United and Ross Vale. Monifi versus Falthouse hasn't beaten the weather as yet. It's the first semi-final derby to come out the hat as Banks of E meet Lewis. The winner of Money Fief and Faldhouse will take on Ross Vale. We keep permission. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the win. Uh, what do you think of your team's performance today? Um, very good first half. I think we were uh, a better team in the first half. Um, certainly when you know when you play a team of ten castles caliber, it's always going to be difficult. 
Um, they came in, certainly the second half, um, came back into it. Um, but I think we deserved, we went 2-0 up, I think we deserved that. Then they came back again, uh, make it 2-1. Uh, you know, the guys have just got to remain composed, uh, which they did. Um, and then again, you know, we're always strong sort of going forward, so um, it was good. And was there any player that stood out for you uh, during the game? Good question. Um, I, I, we, we tend as a team to emphasise the, the squad thing. Prefer not to sort of pick certain individuals. Um, I think on the whole, certainly the defence was very good today. Um, they did their job well, tight on the whole. Um, but just, I think just no. I think I'd rather emphasise just the whole team thing. Yeah. That's the way you know, we like to do things. And uh, finally, uh, what's your hope and mission for the remaining of the season? Well, in general, we, we've been in the, the Scottish Cup semi-final before two seasons ago. Um, we're now there again. Depends how there's a, still got a lot of good teams left in there. Um, it's all the luck of the draw. Um, back where we are in the Aberdeen League, um, we've everything to go for there as well. We're 100% for the season. It's up there, guys. Um, you know, aim as high as they want. Congratulations okay. again. Thanks, no, but thanks very much, guys, for that. Cheers, boys. Now on to the under-17s age group, Dundee West were victorious in their trip to Aberdeenshire, beating Cooter. Fraser Borough recorded a stunning win over Tynecastle, and Airdrie edged out Musselburgh Windsor. Broxburn vs St Peter's is this weekend. Airdrie United meet Dundee West in a match which will see two teams meet, hoping to win their club's first ever Scottish Cup. St Peter's or Broxburn will meet Fraser Borough. performance today? I thought the second half we were excellent. We went uh, went two up front and tried to get them on the back foot. I think we scored I think we scored four goals in ten minutes. Uh, very happy. I was a bit disappointed that my centre half getting the captain getting sent off considering he's he's, he's took took a head to the nose, punched to the nose and the boy's been sent off so <laughs> uh, so what does today's result mean for your team? 
and it means we just go into the semi final and then hopefully get a comfortable draw or it's no easy. Quarter final, they're, they're a good side as well. The team we played today, Broxburn, good side. So uh, it'll be hard to ever we face, it'll be hard, but I don't think any team will be wanting to face us as well. So it, it works both ways. Uh, so how's your season gone so far? It's been stop start with the weather. Uh, we've not really had many games because of the weather, but hopefully we can now get into a run of games, uh, better weather, and we crack on from here. So, what's your team's hopes and ambitions? To win the Scottish Cup. <laughs> win the Scottish Cup in the league. That's that, we set off every year to win the league. Uh, so well, we've got a good chance. Yeah, we, we go. We always seem to go far in the Scottish Cup semi-finals, quarter-finals. So we're in the semi, and hopefully we'll go on and get to the final. That's a that, that's a dream. Uh, if you could give one message to the parents and players, what would it be? Just keep supporting the boys. Uh, just let the boys do their job, and that's it. And keep up the good work. Good parents, good boys. That's all. all right, congratulations. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Onto the under 19s age group, Antonine Blacks won a stunning tie at Broxburn. They are joined by fellow Glasgow and district side Arsenal BC. Two ties remain outstanding Tynecastle versus EKFC and Albion Rovers versus Leith Athletic. The winner of Albion Rovers or Leith Athletic will face Arsenal, and the victor of Tynecastle versus EKFC take on Antonine. If Tynecastle are victorious, they will reignite one of the most famous Scottish Cup rivalries. Chris, eh? Hey, he's shite! From our point of view, oh, yeah. um, I felt like we dominated for the for the off. Um, we can expect the game to come down, and I think they thought they would dominate the game. Um, but I think we'd prepared in the right way, um, in the right formation, and uh, were able to match them. And did you actually do some special preparation for the game today? Yeah, we obviously the draw had been made um, well prior to Christmas, um, and we thought. Um, obviously, with the game in our sight, you take every game as it comes, as you know, but um, the last couple of weeks, and especially since the New Year, the boys have been, been expecting this game, been looking forward to this game. And then the Scottish Cup terrace, terrace club is a big thing, so we thought again, we would we want to do well in it. Great, fantastic. And I know it's always a very difficult question to ask, but do you feel as any particular player today you felt played outstandingly? I've been to pick individuals. Um, to be honest, I thought it was a team performance. Um, 
we tend to try and keep it a team performance at all times. Obviously, you get your individuals throughout the game that score the goals, etc. But I thought as a team, collectively, the day we were superb. Great. Well, that's fantastic. Well, listen, thanks very much for talking to me in such a cold, freezing day. And uh, good luck in the semis. Great, thanks very much. Thanks a million. Right, cheers. cheers. Thank you. Finally, on to the under-21s. Bonington produced a fantastic display to shock brother Glenn. They're joined by Johnston Borough, Tower Hearts and Leith Athletic. Tower Hearts searching for their first Scottish Cup win take on a Bonneton side with four winners medals at under-19 level, but none yet at under-21s. Johnston Borough take on Leith Athletic, who were the last South East Region side to win the Cup in 2009.